Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we're going to talk about what is a frequel. If you don't know what a frequel is, it is basically a prequel. It is a story told before the actual story takes place. So last year at the end of the year, I took a conference, I bought a conference online for writers called Incon, and this conference is actually held in person usually, but because of everything that happened last year, it was actually held online, which I actually benefited from it because I loved everything about it. One of the panels was the many lives of books and that is one of the topics that they talked about is how you can benefit from having a frequel. So let's talk about who can benefit from having a frequel. Who can benefit from having a frequel is anyone who's actually published a book already or maybe if you have another book coming out that pertains to that story, it is a good way to attract readers to yourself. Now, if you don't have already a book out, then it's really not going to benefit you at all because you're just giving out a story that nobody knows anything about or that doesn't have anywhere to go. So a frequel is basically a, an incentive to get your readers interested in the story that you've already told so they can go ahead and buy your next book. For example, my book Between Us is out right now and I am getting ready to release the sequel to that in the summer. So this would be a perfect time for me to write a, a prequel and offer it to my audience for free to get them interested, not only in Between Us, which I released last year, but also interested in the sequel, which is coming out in the summer. So you might be wondering, when is it a good idea for me to release this prequel? Well, like I just mentioned, if you are in the middle of maybe updating your cover for one of your books. Maybe you can go ahead and create a little bit of buzz by offering a, a prequel to your story. Maybe you are getting ready to release a sequel to that story, so it would be a good time to go ahead and do a prequel. Or maybe it's the one year anniversary and you want to revive that book again, that would be a good time to release that prequel. Now let's talk about the length of how long this prequel should be. It shouldn't be very long, maybe 10 to 20,000 words at most. It's just a little intrigue. It's just a little uh, taste of what's to come. So you just want to get them really interested in the story that you've already told, the story that you have coming after that, so that they get a taste for not only the characters, but your writing style. They get to really know you as a writer and they fall in love with the story that you you have already told. And you can release this prequel in two different ways. You can offer it as an ebook or as a PDF. If you offer it as an ebook, you just have to convert it to the Mobi uh, file and upload it to KDP. You can even create a cover for it and go all out on the cover so that you can attract new readers, but make sure it matches the same cover that you are trying to promote. So if you're trying to promote for me, let's say it's going to be between us and it's going to be the next one after that, I'm going to make sure that all three of those things match so that my readers know that they these three books go together. So if you offer it as a ebook on Kindle, then it's everything is done for you as you know it's free. But if you do it on your website, you can do it a few ways. You can just give them a downloadable link on your website. You can offer it to your email subscribers or you can create a sign up form. You can tell them if you sign up to um, this email, you get a prequel to so and so book. And it is just a great way to attract new readers to yourself. The whole point of creating a prequel is to create a buzz not only around your book that you have already released, but for future books. The more people you attract to yourself as a writer, the more people that are actually going to read your upcoming books. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And that is all I have for you today. I will see you again in a brand new video in a couple days. Until then, stay safe.